Hey guys, do you want to craft better blues solos? Keep watching. Hi, I'm John with the Blues Guitar Institute where it's all about learning some cool acoustic blues and having some fun along the way. Today, I'm going to teach you how to craft some really interesting solo lines by mixing major and minor pentatonic scales at really cool times in a blues progression. But before we dive in, if you haven't subscribed to Blues Guitar Institute's YouTube channel, hit the red subscribe button and hit the bell notification icon to make sure that you don't miss a lesson. All right, you ready? Let's grab a guitar and get started. One very effective way to craft an interesting solo as a blues player is to mix major and minor pentatonic scale sounds at key points during a blues progression. In this video, we'll put this simple solo strategy to work by taking the last half of a typical 12 bar blues progression and walking through a solo that pulls in both the major pentatonic sound and the minor pentatonic sound. So let's get started breaking down this solo. So this lick is based on the notes from the D major pentatonic scale. You've got D, E, F sharp, A, and B. And to play it, we're going to start out on the D note on the seventh fret here. So that's our root. Then we're going to go to this E note a step up, and we're going to push that slightly sharp, just a little blues bend there. But we're really concentrating on the E note, we're just adding a little blues style to it. Then we're going to flatten out your index finger and bar across the top two strings at the seventh fret and roll through the F sharp and the B. A real classic blues move there. Then we're going to slide up in a cool little position shift here up to the twelfth fret on the second string or B note. Then you want to flatten out and do the bar, but this time at the tenth fret across the top two strings. Grab the D note on the first string and then back to this second string for the A note. Then we do a quick blues bend on this E on the 12th fret first string. Back to the D and then back to our B for a couple of hits before finishing out just sliding back from our D on the first string. Sounds like this. Alright, so far so good. We're playing the D major pentatonic scale over the one chord. But now things get really interesting as we move into the second lick. And this lick takes place over the two bars where you'll hear the five chord and then the four chord. So let's have a listen to the lick. I'll come back and point out how we're moving into the minor pentatonic scale to really get a cool sound going here. So we're going to start this off by playing the F note here on the 3rd string 10th fret. And that is the minor 3rd of the D minor pentatonic scale. So for the D minor pentatonic scale, we've got a D, an F, a G, an A, a C, and then a D. And we're going to really use those notes to color this next couple of bars from our solo. In fact, is we're going to start out on the F note here at the 10th fret on the third string here. And that's the minor third. So already we're kicking off with that minor pentatonic sound. Then we're going to move up to a G note. We're going to do one of those little blues bends here. Roll through uh, at a bar at the 10th fret, just like we did before. Um, with the, uh, the index finger flattening across these two notes. Then we're going to come back and hit this C note here, but we're really going to push it up. We're going to bend it to target this D. This is a really cool move. We're going to bend up from our flat 7 of the minor pentatonic scale C up to D. It's a really cool way to kind of approach the root note. Then we're going to come back and hit the first string D note here, 10th fret, and then back down from the C to the A. And that part's a little quick as we jump into these really big bends here from the F up to the G on the first string. 
then we kind of walk back down that after the bends. So we hit the F again with, without a bend, and then back down to our D. And we come back to our C before returning to our D for a couple of beats. This last lick is going to get pretty interesting because we're actually going to blend tones from the major pentatonic scale and the minor pentatonic scale into one flowing lick covering the last two bars, which are played over the one chord, our D chord. Now back in the first lick, we really focused heavily on just the major pentatonic notes over the one chord. And then we shifted gears into the minor pentatonic scale when we played over the four chord or the five chord. Really cool moment and definitely built some intensity into things. But here, we're going to really weave ourselves in and out of both scales in this lick. To play this lick, we're going to start out on the 10th fret of the first string, our D note. We kind of had that hanging from our last lick. We're going to pick up there and we're going to do this walk down on the second string from our C, which is from the minor pentatonic scale, to our B, the major pentatonic scale, to our A, really both. Now, I like to think of this as really coming from the D major pentatonic, just with this C passing tone in it. Then we're going to hit our G note, minor pentatonic, and we're going to hammer up from the F minor pentatonic to the major note here, right here on the 11th fret on the third string. We're going to finish that little phrase by hitting our D note here. Then we're going to do these cool double stops, which is kind of interesting. If you really think about what we're doing here, this may seem really simple to go 12th fret across the 3rd and 2nd string to the 10th. We've kind of got both scales happening under our fingers. On the 2nd, we've got this B to A move, which is a major pentatonic scale sound. And then we've got this G to F which is a minor pentatonic scale sound. So it's pretty cool. Then we're going to do this pull off from the 12th to the 10th, uh, minor pentatonic uh, sound happening there, and then finish up here on the A. love the way that that last lick weaves in the notes from the major and the minor pentatonic scale in a way that sounds very musical and it sounds like we meant to do it. We're bringing out certain colors from both scales to wrap up and make a cool statement in these last couple of bars. So head over to bluesguitarinstitute.com slash start now and get started with your three lesson pack today. That's it for this lesson. Until next time, play on.